somebody accused Del Fia or Chris Pedophile, as some people like to call him on the streets, of something kind of crazy, allegedly. Again, this is all something on the internet, rumours without any fucking proof or concern. I'm just reporting on things that I see online and adding my nonsense commentary. Don't come after me, you fucking cunts. Okay, let's check it out. Lover boy, certified pedophiles. Wop, 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 wop. That fuck em up. Wop, 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 wop. I'ma do my stuff. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor. Uh oh. That girl looks like a minor. Nino, 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 Nino. Look at the caption. Look at the fucking caption. Just thinking about the time I went to my first comedy show because the comedian that was grooming me had the ticket held for me at the Laugh Factory and watching the sales lady face go blank when the freshly 18 year old confidently said, I have a ticket under Chris D'Elia and they had to comp me the two drink ticket minimum because I walked in with $3 to my name. Uh oh, uh oh. And these guys are wondering why Hollywood won't take them back, why I'm not on the comedy roast. I need to, bro, the allegations never fucking stop. They never fucking end. It's continuous. And that's the issue that these Hollywood networks have with these guys. I don't think any of them really care when it comes to Brian Cannon or Chris D'Elia. I don't think they care if they did it or not. I don't think they care if Brian is guilty of rape and harassment. I don't care, think they care if Chris D'Elia is a groomer or is a PDF. They don't really give a fuck. What they give a fuck about is the negative attention it'll bring if they book these guys. If they book these guys and they have them on an article somewhere on fucking Variety, you know Variety, the website, Deadline, all those places, if they announce on the press release that they booked Chris O'Brien for some new project, the amount of victims, quote unquote, will come out, will be unprecedented. There'd be water wall coverage from the Los Angeles Times to BuzzFeed. Everyone will be reporting and regurgitating stories about Brian um, da -da -da -da, has been announced as a new whatever actor on this new show. He's also been accused of blah, blah, blah. They will keep repeating that fucking line. Accused of grape, accused of PDF, accused of grape, accused of PDF. No one wants that. And if you're going to invest tons of money into a movie or a TV show, the last thing you want is for your stars to be embroiled in that controversy, take away the attention from your show, and then result in you not being able to make your money back. They don't want that. That's why these guys are cancelled forever. It's impossible that they come back. Unless, unless, unless they actually face up the allegations and try and offer an explanation for it. Maybe then it will work. But even then, I'm not too sure. As I said in the last stream, Kevin Spacey, right? There's, a, there's an article now at the moment. There's an article and a documentary out I saw about Kevin Spacey in the BBC because I think there's a new documentary out about him. Kevin Spacey is an immensely more talented, gifted. Um, Spacey wins, ruling over sex assault. Okay, cool. So he's won another case. Great. New claims in the documentary. So he's doing well in the terms of the case. But look at what's happened. Casey, Kevin Spacey so far, I think, has won every case relating to what he's been accused of when it comes to harassing young men on sets and stuff. Still, he's not welcome back into Hollywood. He's a fucking A-level, A-star actor one of the best out there and even though he's been able to prove to some extent in the court of law that he's not guilty of what he's been accused of hollywood still isn't willing to give him his job back why because he's just bad for the it's just a distraction no one wants it that's the issue so if this guy can't get his job back brendan and brian sorry brendan brian and chris have no hope no hope if this guy can't get his job back those guys have no fucking hope they just accept that they're podcasters and comedians and leave it there. This is Kevin Spacey wins ruling in UK civil trial. Let's read this one. Actor Kevin Spacey has won a bid to fight. As, oh, sorry, has won a bid to fight the allegations um, that he sexually assaulted a man. The man claims he was assaulted in 2008. As a result, has suffered um, psych psychiatric damage. <laughs> fucking hell. Imagine somebody fucking you so hard they give you psychiatric damage. I know that's not what happened. But just imagine somebody smashing you so hard you get <laughs> that's fucking that's dark god almighty okay the civil claim was paused after spacey was charged and later acquitted 
in criminal proceedings of the number of sexual offences. The hearing comes after Star denied allegations of inappropriate behaviour, aired in the documentary of Channel 4. Spacey Unmasked, which was broadcast on Monday, featured a testimony from several men. Last year, Spacey was found not guilty of all charges of sexual assault against four men in two, since 2001 and 2013. Fucking hell. One of the four um, complaints who has been granted anonymity by the court, separately sued Spacey in a civil lawsuit in London High Court in July, but the lawsuit was paused until the outcome of the criminal trial. Earlier this year, a judge granted the unknown man a judgment in default, a ruling in his favour without a trial, after Spacey Law failed to serve a defence of the lawsuits in time. In court on Tuesday, Adam, Spe Adam Specker KC, Spacey's lawyer, said this was a genuine error by his legal team and argued that it would be unfair to claim it to effectively win the lawsuit against Spacey without a trial. Judge Jeremy Cook overturned the judgment in the default against the actor. He said the defendants listed to have an made an error. In my view, the error should not be visited and defaulted. So if this guy can't get his job back, right? It's Mr. House of Cards is struggling to get back into Hollywood because of some pesky allegations that he's been so far been able to quote unquote disprove not really but disprove brian cannon and chris D'Elia need to give up especially if you're chris and you have girls like this popping up out of nowhere you have to you have to give up because who the fuck is this girl i haven't seen her before this is another random girl talking about an account how many more are, are there out there that have never said anything and might pop up now on one of the hottest fucking tunes of the summer, courtesy of fucking Kendrick Lamar. How many more? It's over, man. Just accept that you're a comedian and a podcaster. There's no more Netflix for you. Certified lover boys, certified pedophiles. Wah, 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 wah. That fuck em up. Wah, 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 wah. I'ma do my stuff. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Tired. You're trying to strike a chord and it's probably a, a minor. minor. And also, also, I know this is not good because she's a child, so don't look too much deeply into it. Don't look too much deeply into it. Guys, don't look too much deeply into it because she is a child. But let's call a spade a spade. Does she or does she not look like the other girls that have come forward? <laughs> does she or does she not look like the other women who've come forward and said stuff about him? That's the funny thing about this whole thing. People can argue, oh, he's, he's innocent. Is he? Don't they all look kind of the same? <laughs> Isn't it clear he has a preference? Isn't it a bit clear that he has some sort of preference? Again, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a nobody, but he definitely has a type. Exactly. He definitely has a type. She's a child. Don't look too much deeply into it. We know, but he definitely has a type. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Big up Josie. Like she looks like those grown ass women. All she's missing are those tattoos. Because he seems to like a little bit, what are they called again? Are they like suicide girls? He seems to have a thing for like LA suicide girl looking types, you know? A young, of course, but he seems to have a, a, a liking for that. You know, reluctant cheerleaders, that type of vibe. He seems to like a lot of those type of girls, um, which is fucking wild because he looks, that's the thing with Chris. Chris isn't even like a young looking 40 year old or 30 year old. He's always looked incre incredibly older incredibly old sorry older jesus christ i can see now um yeah his type is young certified lover boy certified pedophile <laughs> she's so <laughs> big up her uh, big up domo agro she's so young i see the resemblance <laughs> i see what you did there that's a good one <laughs> she's so young i see the resemblance <laughs> that is crazy <laughs> Oh, what a sicko. What a fucking sicko. Again, all allegedly, we don't know what we're talking about. This is all rumors and conjecture. Um, big up the person fighting the kids subreddit who posted this. I had to rip it off of TikTok because, you know, TikTok is hard to sometimes play on here. Um, but big up. Um, it is what it is. We don't know nothing. This all could be fake. This is a parody. It's a joke. Ha ha, lols. <laughs> prank, prank, prank. Prank. 